Before I get into this with R. Kelly, I want to give a shout out to Tracy Living My Truth. Thank you so much, Boo, for shouting out my meet and greet. Um, I truly appreciate it. It is so funny how far we have came, girl. Remember when we you used to girl, you used to drag me all the time for no reason. People be thinking I'm out here fighting. I just be defending myself. And I used to, I ain't even ever clap back at you. But that's beside the point. Anyway, Maddie said no beefing on YouTube, child. I don't beef. Mm-mm. Deed, I don't, honey. I let them people write them checks they can't cash. Let's go ahead and get into what I like dealing with, okay? Celebrity entertainment, okay? But also, too, let me think about it. Didn't they say when you want to tell somebody something, don't correct them on the internet? To pick up the phone and call him. I'm just saying, sis. What's tea? <laughs> okay, I'm just playing. Okay, a decision on who will try R. Kelly on his sex crimes first is still up in the air. They don't know if it's going to be Illinois, New York, or Minnesota, okay? R. Kelly was a no-show for his hearing in Chicago on multiple counts of sexual assault pending against the R&B singer, okay? Now, this is what's going on at this point. This fool talking about he want Michael Jackson's uh, lawyers. And I mean, I guess I can get it because Michael Jackson's lawyers, you know, got Michael Jackson off or he wasn't, you know, convicted or had to spend any time. But he does not have the money. So at this point, he says that He's trying to get Michael Jackson's lawyer, but he is trying to come up with the money. This is the same um, lawyer who got a, a non-guilty verdict for Robert Blake, who ended up murdering his wife, even though it said non um, that he wasn't guilty. We know that he killed his wife or whatever. Okay, so now here goes a little bit of a clip from the uh, court about his hearing the last time he was in court. You were charged with uh, three three counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse, which is a class two felony. The alleged victim in this, this case is a uh, victim alle alleged to be JR, all right? I'm sorry, JP. Um, the state went back to the grand jury on this case only, and the grand jury returned a new indictment against you, all right? The new indictment alleges additional counts against you and that's why you're here today i need to arraign you on that new indictment on that case only you understand that counts one through five are aggravated criminal sexual assault those are class x felonies uh, you're also charged with criminal sexual assault which is a class one felony and aggravated criminal sexual abuse which is a class two felony i'm going to tender a copy of this new indictment to counsel Thank you, Judge. I'll acknowledge receipt. Uh, I did get a copy ahead of time. I reviewed it with Mr. Kelly. Will I please in my case? All right. Mr. Kelly, you, on this new indictment, I need to advise you, as I told you before, you're out on bond. It's incumbent upon you to appear in court on each and every court date. If you willingly fail to appear in court while you're out on bond, this matter could proceed to a jury trial outside your presence. If that jury were to find you guilty, and you're not here, I can sentence you while you're not here. Do you understand what I just advised you? Okay. All right. Anything else then today? All right. So this matter and the other matters will be uh, set for the 26th of June. It amazes me sometimes how pathetic he makes himself look. Now, don't get me wrong. And I know people get mad when they say... I love his music, but but the, but the truth is, I do love his music. I love his music. He's a musical genius, but he's a fucking pervert. Although I think a lot of these parents basically sold their fucking kids out. You know what I'm saying? To this man, at the same time, there's a lot of people with dirty hands in this situation, including his ex-wife, um, Drea Kelly. I'm sorry. Girl, I have no sympathy for you. None whatsoever. She irks my fucking soul. She gets on my nerves, always trying to be victim. She acts like we don't remember her when she was on that little R&B show. Oh, oh, R. Kelly, my kid's father. Everybody thinks he's a monster and bought her tattoo on her back and all that other crap. So he's, she's still, well, even though she was still been trying to um, take up for him sometimes, he is in debt with child support, okay? And because of that, 
They got his bond all high. And it's just a, just a bunch of crazy stuff going on. His child support monthly is $21,000. Do y'all hear me? I didn't say $2,100. I didn't say $210. Okay? Child, $21,000. $21,000. And he's basically already saying that he doesn't make any money from his music because he got into bad deals because he was illiterate. He couldn't read. He couldn't write. And so the only way he can make money is from doing performances and shows. And right about now, ain't nobody really trying to book no R. Kelly to do a goddamn thing. So that's what's going on. But I also wonder too, this is off subject, but let me know how do y'all feel. when um. A man has has fathered kids with a woman and they're no longer together. Do you think that woman should be receiving the same amount of child support that would allow those children to live the same type of lifestyle as the man, you know, like R. Kelly or the parent or whoever they got pregnant? You know what I'm saying? Like if you go out here and you trap Chris Brown. Should you be living the high life just because you're his baby's mother? That's what I'm getting to. Because at the end of the day, yes, it is very expensive to raise children. But it don't cost no $21,000 a month to raise no goddamn kids. That's what we do know. Okay? So I'm just saying. Now, I'm not saying she's wrong for getting it or whatever. And if, the, if somebody's going to go out here and be raw dogging somebody or having children and you got all this money, okay, it's a part of the risk that goes along with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, I think some of it is crazy. And then I see some women that I know and they be telling me their child support is $68 a month. What? $68 a month? Some people out here ain't even getting $100 a month. And then you got people out here getting $21,000 a month. Now, Andrea Kelly, who wants to play victim when it's convenient for her, if she really felt sorry for him, she would drop that child support shit at this point because you already know that he don't have no money to pay for his legal stuff that he already dealing with. So clearly he don't have the money for the child support stuff if you were really trying to help him out. I'm just saying. I'm not saying that you should help him out. You know, you don't have to. But anyway, now the lawyer that he wants to get, Stephen Greenberg, is 86 years old. I don't mean no harm, but in this day and time, and the way people dropping like flies, I'd be too scared to invest my money with somebody that goddamn age. I'm sorry, but now, shit, when you turn 40 and 50, it's like a big milestone. People now, they dropping off at 30, 40, 50, 60. Set. So, are you 86 years old, and I'm going to give you a whole bunch of money to represent me, and I don't know when you're going to drop dead? No, ma'am. I don't think so. So, um, that's going to be it. Um, I really don't have an opinion um any which way like as far as r kelly i feel like all this stuff should have came out a long time ago i do think he's sick um i think these parents need to be also charged i think his ex-wife andrea needs to be charged as well because they are they all partake in the situation um, I also think the R. Kelly situation is also an example of how a civil suit can also lead to a criminal suit. So you have to be careful when you're out here doing what you do. You know, if you can do it and stand in your stuff, then do whatever you want to do. But if you can't stand in it, you might want to stand down, get into it. All right, y'all have a good day and y'all will be seeing more of me today.